It's back. Welcome to the channel, and as Davina said at the beginning, it's back. I had to rip that from one of the games that we're playing today because it works because we haven't done a video for a couple of days, and I've been very busy in work, very busy in real life. So, you know, we've had a, a little bit of a delay here, but we have another video for you, and I'm going to take you back in time. And what do I mean by this? I want you to come on a journey back to when pubs had touchscreen games, games that you could physically touch and play. And what we're going to be sharing today, what we're going to be showing for you today, is an absolutely brilliant compilation for it, where there's a gotcha. There's a lot of work that goes into making this happen. And this is why we've been off air for a little while, because I have been making some of this work to actually bring this video to you. So, Arcade Punks, Aladdin is at Arcade Punks. He makes the, 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 the code and everything so we can play some of these games. So just bear this screen in mind. But this is the screen we're going to be running from for the moment. That site that I showed you will be in the URL. It will appear in the ticker below. In fact, the ticker has actually just started to come along the bottom. But these games were physical games where you would touch what you wanted to do. They were predominantly quiz games. And I've been rebuilding this image. You've got full instructions on how to do it. But I have one problem. I have OCD and I don't like screens flicking about and I don't actually have a touch screen. Well, I have a touch screen, but I don't have a touch screen in this setup that we can use. So to show it on the channel, I have to go through and I've got to find games that are actually going to work without the screen size adjusting and will have a cursor or actually worked without the cursor because one was already there. So just trust me, it all works. But if you like what you see, this is a real, real blast from the past on what I'm going to show you. My front end looks a little bit different because I've configured it for use of this channel. But if you go to the URL that will appear on the screen, you know, from, uh, from Arcade Punks, it tells you exactly how to build this. I've put in a lot of extra work than what was needed for where I am now to be suitable for my needs, but you don't have to do this. Anyway, we are using the, the, the mouse to control this. Where is the mouse? There's the mouse. And I've lost the mouse for a moment. Give me a moment. There we are, there we are. So I'm actually uh, connected to another PC that I'm streaming effectively this from, and this is a VMware instance that is actually running to do this. So let's move the mouse around. And we've got all these games we can launch. So, you know, I've got them, and I've got another set on this page as well. So, you know, there's a fair few. A lot of work to do to get it all up and running, but, you know, we'll get to where I want to get with these, and it will be absolutely brilliant. But we've got a few here that we can show you. So... Imagine we're in a pub in days of old. We've had a few pints. We want to test our minds. Let's play Big Brother. It's back. So these are predominantly quiz games and the resolution on these screens would have had back then would have been a lot smaller you know 800 by 600 1024 by 768 so we are really really zoomed in here but we need to do that to make it work and i think you'll get an idea of how bloody awesome these games were anyway the ticker below is showing you what we're playing at the moment and this is aladdin's loaded front end the url will be there as well so you can play that yourself so let's start the game So we're playing three questions to go for a cash box. Which politician married his mistress? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Robin Cook? Oh, bloody hell. Two questions. The title of George Harrison, My Sweet Lord? I actually thought Lollipop, but no, that wouldn't be right. Who did Spencer lose when he was up for eviction? God knows. Uh, Johnny? Alex? All right. So would you like to test the cash box? No. We're going to do some more questions. Okay, so we can win some money by doing pairs here, I think. And all these quiz games are a little bit different. So we're matching Z-list celebrities, I guess, at the moment. When calculating, wait, how many pounds are there on a stone? That's 14. I know that because I'm fat. Keanu Reeves starred in which of these films? Chain reaction. Chain lesson? No, you wouldn't be in that. So, question. Dear God. 
Where is the White Tower? I think Tower of London. And that was a guess. From which city did A7, A8 enter? Oh, it's going to be Edinburgh. And look, we got a match. So we've got a free game. Perfect. Doesn't mean anything because, you know, we're in a, a world essentially where, you know, we're not paying for real money. So let's pick you. In which of these cities would you find the main Guinness brewery? Oh, I think, is it there? No! Oh. Brother's decision is final. So that was Big Brother. So we can register for SMS alerts. We're not going to do that. Um, let's click on exit there. And exit here. And this will take us back to the main menu. Now, I'm slowly sorting all of these games so they work. That is on me and my mission to do here. Because um, as I say, I only want working ones within this VM where session that I can actually run that are not going to flip screen size or anything like that. But when you do this yourself, you are going to have hundreds of games that are going to be there. So anyway, let's work through. You know what we're going to play? What shall we do next? Let's do Double or Nothing. Complete a minimum of one line to qualify for round two. All right. So it looks like counters there. So I know about films. I know everything about films. Who directed Dead Man's Shoes? Sean Penn did not. I don't know that much about films. Music. A hit for the Pet Shop Boys. It's a sin. Everybody knows that. So all these questions are going to be very much 80s and 90s related. Which Premier League shall assign this chap here? There we go. An A to Z. Which D was a hit for the Stereophonics? Perfect. And I think I clearly just need that one. What does WWW stand for? World Wide Web. I would be in difficulties if I didn't know that. Alright, so what can we do now? Can we carry on? No! Okay, we've gone to another round. And look at this. We need to get 7,440 points. We've only got 404. All right, let's go for TV. Which comedian paid? I have no fucking idea. Simon Pegg? No. Okay, food and drink. Only three lives. Criola was originally the name of which famous biscuit? No, oh dear God. World. Which of these countries does not border France? Hmm. Had to think there for a little bit. What did I guess? In art, how many colours are orange? Uh, oh, they're going to be secondary colours. Because the primary colours were red, green and blue. Let's do history. Oh, fuck this up. When was the trade union? Oh, well, who fucking knows? There you go, 1950. I could never answer that. Potluck. When was Trent Bridge first used as a cricket ground? 1870s. No. I'm running out of options here. Look, I can't make lines. Which empire built the Forbidden City? Ottoman. What? No. And it's game over. So uh, these quiz games, they test your mental knowledge. And, you know, they're, they're good fun to play. So let's go back and we'll pick another. So I'm going to take you through a few of these. Because, as I say, I want you know to, to see how damn good this really is. Let's do Monopoly Deluxe. All right, and this looks sweet, doesn't it? Let's do Start. If you've got a touch screen and you do this image, as I say, pretty much everything will work for you. It's just because I've had to... Oh, oh, oh fuck it, I wasn't watching what was what. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's just because I've got to use the mouse and I can only use the games that will work as a mouse with a cursor to create this, this video for you because I can't physically touch things. Okay, uh, okay, Millwall, fa Millwall fans. Empty vessels. Why did I pick Millwall fucking fans? I'm sorry, Millwall fans. You're not noisy. So, which brand of cigar is a play? Yeah, there you go. That's easy. That, they said the gentleman. Then one of those said the gentleman. So you're having to watch me think 
very quickly. You have won a prize. Okay, so we don't want that one. That's bankrupt. We'll take you. So I was just watching the one that looked the worst. Welcome to my Go Scratch card. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. We got one half. Oh, fuck it. We got the lowest possible thing here. And did you see that jackpot prize of £10? My God. That's only 10 spins on a fruit machine these days in a pub. Uh, the wash. Yes. Yeah, th these are just so... That, that's so much fun. Right, okay. What do you want? Welcome to the Just Visiting game. Okay. Well, it's going to be door number one, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't show us what the other ones were. Where did your fixed look house Sony Valentine go? I think she went to Spain. No, it would have been Greece or... Uh, bollocks. And these games, they end so suddenly like this. So let's game over on that one. And we're going to put it in the GPC. B, C. Okay. There we are. Look at this. We are there. That's okay. All right, I'm going to do exit. All right, let's do, let's do carry on. So, for those of you that are old enough, you will recognise this background tune. Well, well, the fun's really started, eh? Oh, matching pairs. Bonus boost. Yes, I did it. God, that was lucky. So this is rather cheerful, isn't it? Which of these was a real band? Oh. I had no idea. Which is your talent for small child? How many deaths does a chessboard have? Well, it's clear it's that. Eight across, eight, eight to sixty, no. Fuck it, ignore my maths. Damn it, I'm stupid tonight. Trying to make myself sound intelligent, I sound even more stupid. Uh, Brad Pitt. It was actually Bruce Willis in my opinion, but Brad Pitt, I guess he was one of the main characters. And 12 Monkeys, if you've not seen the TV series, absolutely brilliant. What was the nationality? I thought so. <laughs> oh, I need that rip of that sound. Which Edinburgh railway station? I have the sweet smell of success. Who was sport would you associate Kate Saunders with? Which political party did Yeltsin? Where did the game bingo? What have I done now? So these games were coin munchers, you know, you saw me work through that quite well and then boom over immediately over so let's go back to the menu and what shall we do next let's see what's on this page so we've done a monopoly we don't need to do that oh this one this one is such a ball ache you've got to see this so we've got to spell words and down in the bottom here 
So look, T O N, that's a word. Uh, M U D, that's. Oh, it's for another. They added another letter. Fuck it. Oh, darling. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Um, H U N G, hung. I don't know whether you can always smell, uh, spell, smell, spell words either. Here, whether it's physically possible. D O Dome. We can do dome. All right. Okay. Four letters. Uh, lay. Okay. Uh, oh, we got. We got. A, we, oh, we got a vowel. Um. Fuck it. Let's eliminate some. And let's shuffle these around a little bit. Um, H O Jose, that's not a word. No, 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 that's not a word. M O Fuck Bossy, no. So mad, that was lucky, that was lucky. Eliminate, get rid of a few more. This is supremely stressful. B E N T. Yes, bent. Have we got a T? No. Run. Yes, R U N. Perfect. H O. You can't do that one because that's already there. L D. You can't sort of work backwards on these. Uh, B. Oh, that. No, no, no. Shuffle. Fuck it. There was no vowels. Soul. Yes. Double word score. Bollocks. Um, oh, look. We could have spelled a really bad word there if that was four letters. Um, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. R-U-N-T. Ah, worth a try, worth a try. And this is going to be game over. Such a simple looking game. And I have not seen anything like this, you know, at all in any shape or form. Uh, on the mobiles or anything like that, but that that was really good fun. All right, so let's put GPC in here. Um, you know what you're looking at is, you know, really old, ancient stuff that we've got here. But honestly, it is really worth the time and effort getting the system up and running so you can play this because there's so so many classics here. All right, let's do exit, and we are gonna do. Who wants to be a millionaire? Now, this is from 2006. You know, this is 17 years ago, but this is a really, really good version. Watch this. Prepare to be astounded for a brilliant, brilliant looking touchscreen game. Welcome to the brand new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire quiz game. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to put these four answers in the correct order. So these drivers are who became the first champion. Alright, so let's go for uh, you, you. I have no idea. I don't do car right, racing. Let's see how you got on. That's a shit start. Oh, really tough luck. Right, you're only 15 questions away from the big money. Jack. So this means I don't get any of these lifelines that okay, you got here. That's your first question. Butchers, let's have a look. Well done, nice and easy. You've got 100 points. Right, here's your next question for 200 points. Flee. Congratulations, you've got 200 points. Okay, here's your next question for 300 points. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. Goodbye and thanks for playing. Who well, I had no idea on that one, as you could tell. I, I, I haven't read that book for a while. So anyway, we're going to have one more go on this, because this was fun. But we're going to try and do better at the beginning.
Okay, you've got 10 seconds to put these four answers in the correct order. Are these galaxies closest to Earth? <laughs> how the fuck would I know that? Right, let's see how you got on. Oh, really? I don't think I would do well on this game show. Right, you're only 15 questions away from the big money jackpot. Okay, here's your first question. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Well done, nice and easy. <laughs> Look at that, that's awful. Points. Does nothing for women. Right, here's your next question for 200 points. What completes a saying proud as a peacock? Congratulations. You've got I was thinking proud as punch. Points. Okay, here's your next question for 300 points. Would you find Klingons are Star Trek? Well done, nice and easy. You've got three hundred. Does anybody points. remember the clangers down below? Here's your next question for five hundred points. Which film, uh, Steve McQueen? I think it's that. That was a lucky guess. Okay, here's your next question for a thousand points. Peter Phillips, the. Uh... Sorry, ah, bollocks. Goodbye and thanks for playing. Who wants to be So we're gonna have one more go because I wanna try and get some of those beginning things right. So let's try one more time. So play. Okay, you've got ten seconds to put these four answers in the correct order. A rolling stone, rolling stone gathers no moss. Ah, oh, why can't they all be as easy as that? Right, let's see how you got on. Well done, you now have all three lifelines. Thank you, Chris. Right, you're only 15 questions away from the big money jackpot. Okay, here's your first question. Uh, traffic lights. Well done, nice and easy. You've got 100 points. God, that's a real retro right, molly. Your next question for 200 points. Short arms, long. Oh, I don't know. Uh, that's phone a friend. Okay, you've decided. Short arms, phone. long. Which friend would you like to call? It's got to be pockets. Oh, I don't know. Who should we pick? Let's go for you. I have never heard that saying before. Remember, you don't. Congratulations, you've got 200 points. Okay, here's your next question for 300 points. Which cheese is found most in pizza? Mozzarella. Well done, nice and easy. You've got 300 points. I know that because I'm fat. This is your next question. Which of these turns to uh, he's uh, he's a writer? You now have 500 points. Okay, here's your next question for a thousand points. Peekaboo means. I don't know. Uh, let's ask the audience. Okay, oh, Pika Poco! I read that as Peekaboo. Right, I was looking for hiding. Was that any help? Yeah. Let's do 50 50. Okay, so. Little you're by little or day computer. by day. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Alright, okay, little by little. Well yes. done, you now have 1,000 points. And no lifelines. Right, here's your next question for 2,000 points. What is a bowl of a tree? Uh, that's the trunk. So you've chosen B. Congratulations, you now have 2,000 points. 
The next question is for 4,000 points. By what five letter word is a young pigeon known? I think it's a point. You're saying C. I'm sorry, that's the Oh, point. bollocks. Goodbye and thanks for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? So that was fun. I enjoyed that. And let's have a look at maybe two more games and then we'll call it a day on this video. So if we exit this. And what shall we do? We're going to do one from each side. So we'll do. We'll do TV times. That's a really old tune. If you know British stuff. So I actually don't really know what to do on this. I guess you've got to work your way up the top. So let's do a TV Times Trivia. What do you want to learn this character's name? Uh, Sapphire, Sapphire. Uh, there we are. Okay. TV Times Trivia. Who had a hit with... Uh, Picture quiz. Oh fuck. Uh, corners, where's the fucking corners? God, it was far easier with a touch screen, not a mouse. Oh, bollocks. Bad luck. I failed a quiz, so I lost a life. All right, let's do TV time trivia. Ah, bollocks. Okay, one more go of that. That was nice. All right, let's do TV time trivia again. Which of these actors appeared in the film Sleepers? Kevin Bacon, not Kevin Sausage. If you know Kevin Bacon, look up the, I think it's called The Seven Stages of Bacon. He is linked to so many actors within seven steps. In April 1990, which animal were we? That was a stupid guess. I don't know why a lion would appear. On eggs. Okay, okay, look at the picture and answer the question that follows. Oh, that was just guessing. I saw no bloody numbers. Yep. All right, that was fun, but we're going to play one more game from the other screen. So here we are. Let's flip across here, and we will do... What shall we do? You know what? We play video games. It's got to be Donkey Kong. So have you ever seen Donkey Kong Quiz? And look, it's actually by Nintendo as well. And Mayge there. Start. Match the five bonus cards. Okay, so we're doing this. Oh, okay, so we've only got two bonuses. Okay, what is this? How does this work? I guess I click on one of these. Question, aha. Uh -huh. Which is a lie? Okay. Which is hop, hop, step, jump? Uh, triple jump. I was thinking of hopscotch. We did Abba go. We went to Waterloo. Okay, we're going to keep an eye for ladder, ladder. Nice. Right, so we're trying to get to that pound there. Danny DeVito started in which film? Get Shorty.
Oh, look, there's more money to win as it goes higher. Okay. Might mm -hmm, you produce if you ask some ID? Your driving license. I guess we've won a pound. Where was Lord Lewis Mountbatten assassinated? I had no idea that was a guess. Which of these was the earliest? Uh, that was a guess. On River, Ballamore Castle. Clyde. No, no. Oh, look at his eyes. Game over. Fuck me. That was a bit. He was a bit raging there, wasn't he? All right. One more go. One more go of this, and then we'll call it a day. Let's do better with these. Extra life hammer. Pass hammer. Extra life. We got everything. We got everything. All right, so let's go here. Which D is the opposite utopia? Dystopia. Which of these is a well-known snooker player? Steve Interesting Davis. Which vegetable would you connect, Sir Walter? Huh. Well, that blew those lives, didn't it? Which lager is group? Oh! Well, that ended quickly, did it? Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the brilliant... Aladdin's, Aladdin's loaded touchscreen menu. The ticker has been scrolling across the bottom. A quick search of Google will take you where you need to go. But the bottom line is, Arcade Punks is your friend when it comes to this. And I've actually only got Adblock turned on specifically for this because I didn't want all this shit popping up. But this is where I downloaded the image to build what you're seeing here. I've customized mine. I'm working through the games, as I say, to have what works for me, what works for this channel, what works for my um, virtual, my, my VMware um, setup that I've done. And VMware, I'm using the free one. So VMware, you can download separately and it's absolutely free. You know, you basically get the user version of it and you pay not one penny. Anyway, I'm the gentleman. This is the Gentleman's Picks Club. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Would you like to play again?